The lesbian couple found murdered with their throats slashed alongside their two children in upstate New York have been identified. Shanta Myers, 36, and her 22-year-old girlfriend Brandy Mills were found dead inside the apartment where they had been living in Troy, just outside Albany, on Tuesday. The bodies of Myers' two children, 5-year-old Shays Myers and 11-year-old Jeremiah Myers, were also discovered inside the home. Myers has a third son who do us live with her. Scroll down for video. Shanta Myers, 36, and her 22-year-old girlfriend Brandy Mills were found dead inside an apartment in Troy in upstate New York on Tuesday. The bodies of Myers' two children, 5-year-old Shays Myers and 11-year-old Jeremiah Myers were also discovered inside the home. The victims were identified by the Troy Police Department on Thursday as they asked the public for information about their deaths. Law enforcement sources told the Albany Times Union that victims had been found bound and with their throats slashed. Police Chief James Tedesco, who said no further details about their grisly murders would be released just yet, described the slayings as an act of savagery. After being in this business for almost 42 years, I can't describe the savagery of this. I don't have the word, he said on Wednesday. Tedesco said there was evidence it was not a random act. He would not reveal if any weapons were recovered from the crime scene or whether there was forced entry. The family were found dead inside the basement apartment in the Lasigberg section of Troy at about 12.50 p.m. on Tuesday, but police have yet given clear details as to how they were killed, or why. Shanta Myers 36, and her two children Shays, 5, and Jeremiah, 11, were found dead inside an apartment in Troy, New York on Tuesday. Police say Brandy, pictured above, was in a relationship with the 36-year-old mother. The family were found bound and with their throats slashed inside an apartment in Troy on Tuesday afternoon. A property manager found the bodies after being asked by family to check on the welfare of the residents. Autopsies completed on Wednesday afternoon are expected to clarify the timeline of attacks and exactly how the victims were killed. Police have said they still don't have a suspect for the murders, and don't want to release a potential motive in the fears of hurting their investigation. The emotions of a police officer is something you repress because there is a job to be done, Tedesco said. But no one involved in this case is ever going to forget it. Right now our job is to bring this person to justice. The unit where the bodies were found is one of five in a home located in a residential Iborhut along the Hudson River's East Bank, just north of Albany. Troy Police Chief James Tedesco described the murders as an act of savagery. Troy Police say the deaths are being treated as suspicious and the incident is being investigated as a quadruple homicide. Rev Jackie Robinson said the family were much loved and respected in the Iborhut. He said Myers had worked as a bus monitor and her children were active in youth programs.